Hello and welcome to Tumbleweed Tabletop Gaming. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make one of these little skeletal Old West trees that you can see on the screen here. And you can make these very cost effectively just by drawing upon some local resources. Now the main part of the tree is made with a piece of dead heather. So here I am at some local heathland and just next to the heathland here you can see what looks like a graveyard of old dead pieces of heather. And you can find these dead heather stems all year round with a bit of hunting around and some careful selection you can find just the right piece that looks like a, a miniature dead tree for your western town. So here we go, just the job. So you can see just above my thumb there it looks like an old dead tree, it's a slight bent bit at the bottom there that we're gonna probably have to saw off but I think that's gonna look perfect when we get it back. So let's take it back and see what we can do. So here it is back on the desk and we're going to cut it off just there. So we're going to cut off the bent bit and I'm using an old hacksaw blade here to do that because the wood is quite tough and you could use a very sharp knife but I found a hacksaw blade works best for this. And we're cutting that off to make a nice flat base and that enables us to fix it to a clamp so we can glue it to an MDF base. There we go, small round MDF base. And I'm going to glue it to this base using a bit of polystyrene cement. You could use PVA for this, you could use super glue, you could use a hot glue gun, all kinds of things would work. Here it is, dry, now ready for us to start putting some basing materials on. This is some base material I picked up from a local beach and you could equally use builder sand like this if you're prepared to spend the time washing out all the orange coloring but this stuff is pretty good it, it mixes small sand like particles with larger rock like particles and i'm just going to glue that on with a bit of pva got an old paintbrush here i'm just going to paint around the pva and then we're going to sprinkle the basing material on top of the pva Put my fingers in, sprinkle a little bit over the top and it will stick to the glue. Tap it there just to knock the excess off. We're ready to let that dry now for the next step. So I'm now going to use some Army Painter Battlefield Rocks you see here. They're actually small pieces of cork and I'm going to fix these again with some PVA glue an old brush and fix them around the base of the tree so there's like there's some rubble built up around the trunk of the tree. You can use any PVA glue for this. I find the glue that is in the um, uh, in the bottles with the nozzle makes it easier to apply but you can use anything from a local DIY store. So here you can see I've just glued around the base of the tree and now I'm going to glue the other side, pick up a few of the little cork rocks, just squidge them in with my fingers let them dry. Now ready to base coat and we're using Panzer Aces new wood here which is great for sort of desert sand and rocks. Water it down a little bit to enable me to brush it all in there across all of the basing materials. I'm also painting on top of the the cork rocks that are stuck up against the trunk of the tree. See it's already starting to come together quite nicely. There it is, all dry, ready to go. I'm now going to put a wash on it, and this is Citadel's Agrax Earthshade, which is fantastic stuff. Give it a good old shake. If you don't shake it, you sometimes find you can get a strange sort of glossy appearance I've found with this. And what a wash does is it it fills in all the gaps, it's very sort of watery consistency, and as you paint it over the top of the base coat it drops into the recesses creating the effect that you've got shadowing and adds a lot more depth to the appearance of the model. So there it is, all dry. And now we're going to put some highlighting on and we're going to do this using a technique called dry brushing. I've got another colour here, this is ochre colour from Revel Paints. Really doesn't matter what colours you use, um, it's your choice of course, but something similar to the base coat but just slightly lighter and I found that this tone is slightly lighter than the Panzer Aces new wood 
which means it's great for highlighting and I'm getting loads of it on the brush here slightly watered down and there's the weird thing about dry brushing you put all the paint on then you take it all off again on a piece of paper towel keep rubbing till it's almost not visible at all you want to get rid of pretty much every scrap of paint and then with the dry brush you then run over the top of the basing materials like you can see here and the remaining paint that's left within the brush hairs picks up on the surfaces and creates the effect of a highlight if your dry brush is too wet you'll get smears and you'll you won't get the effect at all so if anything err on the side of it being really really dry and not enough paint and then it really pops out you can see there you've now got the stark contrast between the wash low lights and the highlights this is a dry brush it's like a brush that's had a haircut this one's from army painter um, and they're specifically made for the purpose of dry brushing now what I'm going to do I've mixed up here some very dark brown and I'm going to paint around the edge of the MDF base these MDF bases by the way you can purchase on eBay as quite a few people sell them I've got MDF cutting machines it's quite a cheap way to do it because you'll find that when you've painted the, the base and you've dry brushed it there'll be a lot of overspill and it's nice to tidy it up with a bit of dark paint around the base and then the final bit really brings it to life is to use these little tufts and these tufts again these are available from army painter and I'm gonna be fixing them on with a bit of super glue you can get all kinds of different colored tufts for different types of vegetation this is a sort of desert style which I think works quite nicely I'm just gonna pop a couple of these onto the base nice big one there we'll block that one off Super glue, just using a pair of tweezers here. Squidge it down. That dries within seconds. And then there you go. Finished article. And here it is, back in the Western scene. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you again soon with some more Wild West tabletop gaming videos.